Okay, so this is McCartney Taylor. I'm in Brazil in a town called what is this town? Santa Rita do, Prata. do Palmar? Prata. Prata. Do Prata. Uh, we're out here hunting meteorites um, because there was a recent fall here last month. Anyway, I've stumbled across a natural hive in a tree and I want to get closer and I thought I'd shoot this uh, intro before I get close to it because in Brazil these are Africanized bees and I want you to see me before I die. So. All right, I'm gonna venture to get a little closer, but any hive that strong makes me really nervous. Bear in mind, this is mid-July, so this is their deep winter. Not that it's too cold, it's about mm, 75 degrees today. All right, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah, okay, I'm done here. Again, I'm in Brazil because there was a meteorite fall and I'm trying to recover as much material as quickly as possible before it's lost, even though we have to keep the material in the country. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything, but we did find the owner of the ranch that we're looking at here. He has both a ranch and a working coffee plantation, and he brought us into his house. Uh, now, he has some hives on his property, so I filmed that. Let me show you those. Now, I met with some local beekeepers who told me they were able to get roughly 10 to 20 kilos of honey per month out of their hives. Yes, per month, which is tropical honey, which is very bitter. Okay, first thing to note is that the grass underneath the hives is dead. They kept the grass down by poisoning it. Uh, second, note that some of the supers are nailed together. A local beekeeper said that some beekeepers do that, but not all of them. Now, the ranch owner had some local honey that he offered to let me taste, so I just had to try it. And this was just a beautiful setting to try it in. I asked some questions to our host as to what deal he had with the beekeeper and he responded by saying there actually is no deal, he just gets honey whenever he wants it. There are no, there are no rules concerning uh, the honey production here. He, he, he let the guy make the honey and take what, what he, he wants and get some more parts to him. Okay. That's Why is this a key? Is this oh, a, oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's it called? Ossipation. Ossipation? Yeah. This is ossipation honey? Yeah. Okay, I have to smell. Dona Maria, I'm going to leave this here. She's going to put a pot with an American, Dona Maria. Your English is in the day, Dona Maria. It's a strange smell. It's like the husband of the husband. It's the mother who lives here. Where is it? Definitely crystallized. This was from spring? At the at the the primavera? Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, okay. from spring. Yeah, and it has a very distinctive smell. <laughs> Deixa eu pegar uma colher para ele provar esse. Ele bring a spoon to taste. Oh, oh. Get to try some. Asa peixe? Asa peixe. Is that is that a peach? Or Asia peach. This is peach honey. Asia peach, like a small fruit. É de uma fruta de de peixe não, não, não é uma é uma planta nativa que na realidade eles tiram até essa planta quando vão cultivar alguma coisa. Você nem tem ver. Plant. It's a native plant. It's a native plant. A native plant. But no. It doesn't produce fruit. Ele ela produz fruta alguma não, coisa? Não, 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 não frutos. Just flowers. It's a type of fruit, mm. but it tastes like apricot. Just look for it. This is nice.
Okay, small taste. You gotta try this. All right. I kind of like that. 